So you've done your research, you found a great stake pool, but you're not exactly sure how the fixed and variable fees come together and what's a reasonable payout you can expect. Let's remove the mystery together using our new rewards estimator tool. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at our new rewards estimator tool. For the new members of the audience, it'll help clarify how fixed fees and variable fees affect our overall payout. And for you veterans out there, it'll give us an easy way to compare pools to find the right pool for you. Let's jump in. All right, just to make sure we're all on the same page, we're gonna take a quick look over at Pool Tool. By the way, if you haven't yet seen our video on selecting the right stake pool for you, take a look at that, we'll link it down below. It'll walk you through Pool Tool and all of the different metrics that you need to understand. But if we take a quick look over at Pool Tool, if you remember from that video, we looked at this epic fee that's fixed fee that's usually around 340, and then the pool's variable fee. And we get a lot of questions from a lot of community members asking, well, how do the epic and variable fees work together? And where do those funds come from? And, and which one is taken out first? Well, lucky for all of you, our co-founder of Woodland Pools and co-operator of our stake pool has built another great tool for you all. This one is called the Epic Rewards Estimator. So let's come and check it out. If you want to take a look, you can come to woodlandpools.net, go to Delegator Tools, and click on the Epic Rewards Estimator. So let's take a look at it. All right, so when the estimator opens up, we see here that we can select the pool that we're considering and the amount that we're planning on delegating. So when we enter this field and start typing, it'll actually search all of the active pools for us so you don't have to even know their pool ID. For example, let's start by taking a look at our friends over at the Eden pool. So you see if I start typing, it'll complete for me. So let's look at Eden's garden pool. And let's say we're planning on delegating 10,000 ADA. Okay, so we see a bunch of information populates for us here. So we can see that for Epic 256, Eden's fixed fee was 340 ADA. Their variable fee was about 5.3%. And we'll take a look in a second here to see how that factors in. We can see that their active stake for that Epic was about 58 million. And now, from the work that the Eden pool did to validate the blocks, the network granted the entire pool about 46,000 ADA. That's the total rewards that's given to the pool that will be split up amongst all the delegators. So from this total amount that was paid, we can see that Eden took out their fixed fee of 340. The intention of this fixed fee is for the operators to be able to use it as a way to cover their ongoing costs. Then from there, once the 340 was removed from the 46,000, of the balance that was left, that's where the 5.3% variable fee is taken out. And the variable fee is then considered to be the rewards that are paid to the stake pool operators as an actual payment for their work. So the idea is that the fixed fee is to cover costs, and then the variable fee is actually the payment to the operators for the work that they do. So we see here that the 5.3% of the rewards that were left after we removed 340 from 46,000 was about 2,700 for Eden's stake pool operators, okay? So now, if we take this 46,000, we remove the fixed fee, then from the subtotal of that, we take out 5% more, which gives us this 2,700. Once we removed both fees, what's left for the rest of the pool is about 43,000 ADA. Now this 43,000 will be split up amongst all the delegators, proportionate to however much ADA they delegated during that epic. So for our estimates, we see that the total active stake was over 58 million, we delegated 10,000, and so our stake ratio was this 0.0002%, so we would expect to get the 0.002% of this 43,000, and our estimated rewards would be about seven ADA, and our estimated return on stake for that epic is about 5.5%. Pretty good payout from Eden for nice, consistent rewards. So let's take a look at if we were comparing pools, let's compare to a pool like ours, Aspen, so let's come back here and clear this out. We'll type in Aspen. So we'll select the Aspen pool. We'll use the same 10,000 and let's hit calculate. And we'll see here that the numbers look quite different when we're looking at a smaller pool, but we'll see how it still works out for everybody involved. So if we take a look here at Epic 254, we see that the fixed fee for the Aspen pool was also 340 ADA. 340 is the most common number. You'll see most pools will use that as their fixed fee. The variable fee was only half of a percent compared to the 5% that we saw earlier. We see here that the active stake was just over 300,000. And then the total rewards for the whole pool was 817 ADA. So much smaller numbers than we were seeing with Eden, right? 
the operating fees that came out, the fixed 340 was removed from the 817, okay? And then the balance of 817 minus 340 multiplied by the half percent variable fee left just two ADA for the pool operators, okay? So of the 817, the operators of the Aspen stake pool took 342 ADA total. So if we remove these fees, what was left for all the delegators was 475. So now with our stake that we were planning on delegating of 10,000, we see that that represents about 0.03% of the total active stake. So if we take that 0.03% multiplied by the rewards that were left for everyone, if we continue down, we see that our actual estimated rewards were 15 ADA, and our estimated return on stake was over 12%. A common confusion and concern people have when they're looking at smaller pools is they say, well, yeah, when I'm looking at some really big pool that has 50,000 ADA to pay out to the whole pool, removing 340 for fixed fees, that's a drop in the bucket. But for a smaller pool like Aspen, when the whole pool only got 817, removing 340 for fixed fees, like isn't that really gonna cut into my payout? And what we can see here is that's not the case. The 340 was removed, the variable fee only resulted in two more, but from what was left, our resulting payout was actually higher than if we had gone to a larger pool, and our return on stake was higher as well. And the reason for this is that because when smaller pools do get their rewards assigned, they get a rewards bonus assigned to them. So it compensates for it to make up for these kinds of things. So the numbers can sometimes be a bit deceiving, but if we look at some concrete estimates here on what the real payouts are, it can clarify things a bit. The other thing we'd mentioned before too is to keep in mind with larger versus smaller pools is the notion of consistency versus lumpy payouts, right? Let's go back and take a look at Eden again, just to give you something else to consider. So if we select the Eden pool again, same 10,000, let's calculate. We can see here that we were on Epic 256, the ROS was 5.5%, but if we look, we can see all of their previous Epics where they also had payouts, and we can see, for example, Epic 255, the ROS was 5.1%. We can go back, let's go to 254. The ROS is about 5.5% again. So again, they're a great larger pool, and the thing that I wanted to point out is we can see here that for each of these different Epics, their payout is usually around that 5.5% mark, okay? So now if we go back to Aspen, we can see for a smaller pool like ours, for 254, yeah, we got 12.5%, but it was a couple of epics of a gap between there when we got our previous block. So we see here on 252, the ROS was actually closer to 20%, but again, this is the whole difference between consistent and lumpy returns. So in our previous video where we went through pool tool and we talked about consistent and lumpy returns and how they work out, now you can actually go and dig in to get a real feel for what that would be like for two different pools side by side and see how often do they pay out, what's the relative return on stake for each of those payouts, for my potential delegation, what would it mean for me? And there's no wrong answer, it's all personal preference. Because as we mentioned in that video, on top of all these calculations, then there's also what kind of a delegator are you? And if you're looking for a purpose-driven pool, or if you're just chasing the best returns, there's no right or wrong answer, it's whichever fits best for you. So come over to our page, woodlandpools.net, check out the rewards estimator, compare a few different pools, look at the results over a few different epics, and try and get a tangible feel for what your payouts might be. So if you haven't already, check out our previous video on selecting the right stake pool for you. And if you've already mastered Pool Tool, then check out one of our other recent videos. We're sure you'll find something in there you'll like. We'll see you in the next video.